Gaming versus Echo Fox, map number one, now officially underway. As you said, Hardpoint, London Docks, and already the crowd early on getting behind Optic Gaming. The Let's Go Optic chance begin. Krim, meanwhile, he's going to be in bear, just trying to make sure that Karma can stay alive in that hill, and the early time already going in favor of Optic Gaming. Yeah, and that's exactly what you want to see. You have Formal running that STG, you have Krim6 on that bar, and I was talking to TP a little bit, and he said he's so excited about Krim6 running that main AR. He feels like every single map he's dropping a 40 bomb, and this is a perfect start for Optic. Already 25 seconds on this middle hill. Formal, this is such a tough spot to deal with. There we go, Fasenel picking up too, but Optic looking very strong so far to start. Perfect uh, initial here, but you have to look at the time left on the hill. 20 seconds. Will Optic Gaming be able to push over and get the spawns for that next hill? You can already see Echo Fox, two, three players over towards that bus side. They have the spawns, so despite losing a little bit of early time, not the end of the world here if you're an Echo Fox fan. Yeah, not at all. As you can see, number five all the way in the back, but somebody spawns out. That's Faseno, has a very deep spawn. Optic trying to get control of this fire. As you see, two, four, and three all pushing this left side. Echo Fox do have early control. Very nice shots out of Assault, taking down Scott, but Another nice one on Karma, but Formal finally able to trade that out. But hill control in favor of Echo Fox. That's going to be the key. Saints immediately springs to life. They need to get control of those spawns. Facento could still be a thorn in Optic Gaming side, of course, for Echo Fox. They're not necessarily spawning out, but they're not getting the favorable spawn either. Facento does find one, and Optic, they just can't seem to fully get control here, Mark. Yeah, and as you said, a lot of teams actually prefer this spawn on this hill because you spawn so close. If you do spawn on that bottom water, you're forced to go either all the way around fire, like Optic has you down, or through that middle street. And you can see number two and number eight, they're fighting each other through that middle gate. It's such a tough ch choke point to get through. Right. Optic Gaming, they just can't do it. They decide to rotate to that hill number three. Yeah, you saw Skump number two there on your mini-map. He was at that mid-cut. He thought about pushing, and then he obviously got the call out. No, boys, let's just give it up. Let's rotate. Uh, and that's something that, if you go back to Dallas, Optic Gaming were so good at doing on London Docks. That third hill, they were able to just get so, so much time. Karma finds one, can't find the second. And Krim already ready and waiting for Echo Fox to come over towards the dock side. As it stands, Echo Fox do have the lead, 50 to 40, but with this good solid hot oh never mind echo fox three kills straight away now it's down to crim to make the play yeah and this is he's obviously in a very tough spot he's just trying to delay for his team aqua taking out Paseno. that helps him out quite a bit as you can see you know you're gonna have a contest right here saints actually playing very aggressively on karma able to win that one-on-one -on -one in a window versus i'm not sure that is i believe that's formal just staying alive doing a great job for seno helping him up with a two-piece nade now full control for echo and fox. this is where it's important look how close saints is to streets can he try and get those extra utilities that are gonna give echo fox even bigger of a lead if used correctly of course 18 seconds left on the hill and saints just looking for anyone from up to gaming that may go for a last second push needs to be careful doesn't want to fall he does have aqua with him here now is this one of those situations where you want Aqua to bait for him? Oh, absolutely. Anybody, just take your time. These streaks can be very important. He has that bar, and somebody thinking about formal just rips his head off. A huge kill right there. Optic might not even know the sort of impact that that kill had on the map, and now a perfect setup going into this barrel build. Oh, this has been back and forth action. This is the kind of hard point you love to see. Optic Gaming now controlling B. In fly Saints, finds one. Formal responds. STG kills straight onto Saints. But Echo Fox flying through mid-map. You can see Skump jump straight through. Unfortunately, he won't be able to find a pick, but Formal's there again with the trades. Karma with the nades, and Krim now locking down mid-map. Yeah, this is exactly where you want to be if you're Krim6. Look at that mini-map. All of Echo Fox going to have to push through fire, and he is just controlling mid-map with that assault rifle all of optic gaming getting all of this time a great setup being able to push out those cuts right. and even start to push towards that next hill as you see karma pushing this low water but a great kill by aqua and crim's position there he's just being a nuisance echo fox know they so have annoying. to deal with him yeah. first they can't even touch the hill before they shut him down and optic gaming play a perfect beer hard point they're going to get the final 10 seconds here and that is going to give optic gaming the lead as we go to our final hard point of the first rotation note formal Already with one streak, can he get fully streaked out? That's going to be the question. He may actually use that streak. He will. Trying to get all his streaks here with the fighter pilot. We'll see if that's going to have any He's going to get nothing effect. Here. Absolutely nothing but Scump able to push in the fire, picks up two, but Echo Fox is doing a great job staying alive in fire. If you're Echo Fox, that's exactly what you wanted to do. You had the back spawns. Don't let that street pick up a couple of you. You're able to stay alive, trade out that kill on Scump, and now you have a great setup on this crane hill. And that's a big win again from Formal. That should now extend his streak to six. Also, give him more streaks. There you see the glide bomb. Just ten more points. That's all he needs. An assist would do it. Formal trying to fight from the front hill. Crim6 comes in, gets a big double. There's the assist. Streaks for Formal. Optic Gaming in a good position. Yeah, and Formal actually going with the Mortar Strike, which some people tend to choose, but I feel like the Flamethrower is so strong on this map, especially on, on that beer, you know, building hill, because such close quarters, able to pick up a lot of time, but we'll see what he's able to do with that Glide Bomb and Mortar Strike. 
as we head into the second set of hills. Optic Gaming going to have about a 20 point lead as we head into the second half. Once again, nice scrap time coming in from Optic Gaming. Those 10 seconds, they may not look too pretty, but they do all add up, especially when we get to the later parts of the game. And now as the hills rotate, we go to our second rotation. Karma already on statue. He's going to try to slay around him. He'll find one. That's going to be for Sento. Echo Fox, uh, of course, in the first rotation of hills, did a very, very good job of controlling the spawns for the second hill. They're going to need to do that again here on the second rotation because they do not want to allow Optic Gaming to get too much of a lead. Yeah, one thing I want to point out, for Seno at one point was 11 and 6. Wow. Right now, he's 1 and 8 since then. I feel like he's been the difference maker. When he was playing well, Echo Fox was picking up a ton of time. Now they do have control of the middle map, but Optic just need to make sure they stay on this side of the map for that second hill. Now, I have a question for you, Joe. You just saw Formal pull out the glide bomb, used it, got a kill. Was that maybe the, the right time to do it? Because uh, you consider the, the money hill that comes up essentially next time on bus, you may need it to break the spawns because you can see Echo Fox, they, they do have control of bus. Yeah, and I, I think the big thing there is they're just trying to disrupt time, but Faseno doing a great job just controlling this back. He already knows this is a big gunfight, wins that versus Karma, and you can see all of Optic spawning out towards that top street. This could be big time for Echo Fox, but they need to be able to pick up these kills because you can see why. Number five assault spawns all the way water, and Optic oh, no. actually did a split spawn. So this is a huge play again. Echo Fox lose all those one on ones. Now full control for Optic Gaming. Oh, and Formal hits the drop shot on Saints. Thank you very much. Optic Gaming take full hill control. They have the spawns as well, and that is going to be some juicy, juicy time for them. Really don't see any chances here for Echo Fox to really contest. Yeah, this is the important thing. For every kill Karma just gets, well, he just got absolutely dominated. But all of Octa getting great kills. You can see where Karma just spawned. But because Karma was so far pushed up on that top street, Echo Fox would have spawned out really far away. But Echo Fox wins that one on one. Now they spawn top of the street. Uh, just a quick glance at formal screen there. You see, he actually had another glide bomb. So that probably explains the use earlier on in the game on that first hill. Used it because he knew he was going to overlap just by getting another kill. So still does have that extra utility if Optic Gaming need to use it. Crim6, nice little spawn over towards the next hill. Echo Fox, yeah, fine. Take that final 11 seconds. It's exactly. Not the end of the world. Exactly that. Karma controlling this middle of the map knows that Echo Fox have to rotate through somewhere. But it's all going to come through this fire building. We'll see if Crim6, and I believe that is Scump, all the pressure is going to be on their side of docks. We'll see how they're able to hold it. There's so many power positions for them to play with. It's going to be a tough break for Echo Fox. And Echo Fox need to find some formula to dealing with formal. 21 and 14, a minute 35 hill time. He's continuing his rampage as once again makes his way inside the hill. There's going to be three players from Echo Fox that may challenge, but honestly, in formal's form, he may actually be able to find himself all three kills. Now the cavalry comes in. Crim6 right behind, throwing out those nades. Half point currently contested, but formal ready and waiting. I think what's interesting is typically you see three submachine guns on this map. But right. Formal and Crim6 running, a, running du dual ARs, Formal with that STG and just he puts himself in such great positions that you can see right here, just trying to stay alive, contest for as long as they can. Optic Gaming do have control of that next one, Formal. Just not losing anything right now. Again, contesting a little bit of an ego challenge, I think, right there. But luckily enough, his team does have spawns for this next, next beer building. Uh, and that's the key. You can kind of justify that kind of a challenge there, right? He wins it, potentially gets even more closer to, to those streaks. Scump inside the hill will find one instantly traded out. Formal with the spawn. Obviously, he's already inside beer. A couple players mid map. There's one. There's two. Nicely done. Can Formal find the third? Saints flies in instantly with the trade. And it seems like for now, Echo Fox do have control. No, they don't actually. It's going to be contested. Krim in there. Again, just trying to be a thorn in Echo Fox's side. Yeah, and Echo Fox need to play this a little bit quicker. As you can see, two of the Optic Gaming players spawned out towards that middle where you want them, but they weren't getting any time. Finally, they are. And this could be big time going to that crane hill. We'll see if Karma is able to make a play on the back. He wants to he wants to do this pretty fast, as you can see right there. Buys great timing. Not only that, they are contesting and they have spawns for that next crane hill. Very important to note. Always pay attention to that minimap. Yep, the spawns are gonna be so so important. The question is, can Echo Fox somehow try and break it? Doesn't look like it. Of course, you still have Echo Fox spawning over towards that back rear side. 11 seconds on the hill. The contest still coming in from Optic Gaming. And you can see why three players spawn over towards the next hill. Formal, I believe, still has a glide bomb. 31 and 16. He's on a five trick again. We have to keep our eyes out on him because he could potentially earn even more streaks. Uh, and from Echo Fox, I don't think they have any extra utilities to even break a setup. No, and I mean, Formal, 31 and 16 just seems so comfortable. It feels like he's found that gun that he needs. A 155 in the hill, fully, fully streaked out. Yeah. And that STG in his hand, so oh. powerful right now. Oh, oh, oh. All of Optic Gaming playing so well, but Echo Fox, they do get a bit of a back spawn, but it seems like Optic Gaming noticed that. I believe that's Karma, he noticed those spawns. So, 
They're just trying to look towards that back end. Great job. That's Great teamwork piece. for Scump. That's picked up a three piece. The last guy bottom docks Formal. Again, just winning every single gunfight on a seven spree. And when Formal's in this kind of form, there's not that many teams in the world or that many players in the world that can shut him down. Just Already not looking at overlapping potential streaks. Saints finds a big double. Again, Echo Fox. I mean, this crap time is going to be big, but now you have uh, an Opti Gaming with a, a fair amount of a cushion. Formal using streaks because, hell, why not at this point, right? Uh, uh, that's going to not even give them the scrap time. Optic's going to get it. Uh, they have control of mid map as well. This is just a flawlessly executed second rotation of hills from Optic Gaming. Yeah, and I, I think we talk about the strengths of Echo Fox. It revolves around the slang. But right now, Formal plus 19. Scump playing extremely well. Everybody playing yeah. well. On the other side, again, I brought up Vicento early out in the, on in the game. He's only had 17 kills, so in the past, you know, four or five minutes, he's only been able to pick up three or four kills. Yeah, not enough. You need a little bit more from him. Now up to gaming, 221, 153, the lead. Can they win it on statue? Yes, they can. Formal again, continuing 38 kills. He's close to the 40 bomb. Will he get it? If you're a betting man, honestly, I'd say yes, he will. Echo Fox currently, can they get to the hill? That's the question. They're worried about the next hill as well. Of course, Optic Gaming, they cannot no longer, or they can no longer, I should say, win on this middle hill. So that's why Echo Fox are, are thinking about Buzz, but you can't give too much time away here, Joe. Yeah, absolutely. And Formal already a step ahead, decides to push this back. He knows there might be a player or two, but all he needs to do is take his time. He's waiting for his teammate, Krim6, Scump and Karma pick up another one. They know there might be one more player back there. Krim6 able to pick up that kill. Aqua might get a little sneaky here, but Optic Gaming do have full control of this hill. Aqua picking up one on Krim, but all those kills. Three more for Formal. What a beast of a performance. 42 and 18 then. <laughs> and here's another streak to come. He may actually find himself another glide bomb if he's lucky. The kills come down. It doesn't rain. It pours when you're Optic Formal. He did die, but 44 and 19. Two minutes. Across the respawns. Well, Echo Fox, you could be in some trouble. But map number two now underway. Optic Gaming, of course, lead the series 1-0. It's going to be Echo Fox on the attacking side first. And foremost, and there, of course, you see the rush into V-Bomb. Merck rightly said, this is what this map is all about. And already, Facento with control. And look what Optic Gaming was doing. Three of them set up on that Ting Street. Either they're going to wait for this bomb plant and know the setup. So now, what is the basic setup here? One behind Statue, one behind the bomb. Optic, they're going to throw, it looks like some smokes and some nade strats. I like this, and there it is. They know where Saints is going to be. That's the first blood you want. You can see. Karma starting to push up alongside Formal. What a great showing from Optic Gaming, but Aqua able oh, to no. up too. As he runs out of ammo, but what a retake from Optic. That's exactly what you want to see. Beautiful utilization of patience, smoke grenades, and also grenades. We know how strong smoke grenades are in Call of Duty World War II. There really is no counter. Aqua was left completely blind. Ironically enough, still did find two kills, so props to him for that, but just a wonderful, wonderful retake. And now I'm curious to see if Echo Fox have any kind of a response to that. Yeah, I mean, this is what we talked about. Obviously, a lot of emphasis on that bomb site. How do you retake it? A perfect example right there. And just, as I said, Optic Gaming. It looks like they may switch it up a little bit more than differently. Echo Fox going for a very strong middle presence and that B side. We'll see how quickly they transition over that A site. Made me laugh a little bit because you said they know exactly where Saints is going to be. And sure enough, the nade landed right at yeah. his feet. So if you're Echo Fox, you may want to try and rethink your positioning around the B bomb. But a beautiful strat from Optic Gaming. A little bit of a, a trick strat, if you will, for their first round on the attacking side. Make their way immediately over to the A bomb. Bomb goes down. It, and it's just to switch it up, right? From now on, Echo Fox is always going to have to send someone towards that A site to gain information, right? That's all it is. So Optic just setting the precedent. They have to respect that push now. Can't just give it up for free. Krim's gonna get a lot of information. Finds a pick as well. Aqua goes down. Saints responds with a nade right at him, but Karma got the call out that Vicenta was potentially pushing through mid. Makes it a three versus two. Just and not this enough time, then. 13 seconds. Wow. That is uh, just a beautifully played round by Optic Gaming, and Formal showing no signs of slowing down. Optic now 2 0 up. Yeah, so obviously, Echo Fox decided to just completely give up A. That allows Optic to push up towards stables. As you can see, Karma's doing this. You have Krim6 all the way in the back, just watching their flank. It's an easy 4v4 setup for them. Just play the clock, and they did such a good job doing that. Especially considering they got the bomb down so early in the round. By the time Echo Fox even had players in position to even potentially contest the players at the bomb, you're down to, what, 25, 30 seconds left? It just bleeding that clock. Very, very good round from Optic Gaming. Now, though, Echo Fox back on the attacking side. What will we see here? Seems like it's going to be more of the same. 
but the Echo Fox have a response to what Optic Gaming did last round. And you can see Optic, those green arrows set up in a very, very similar position to what we saw in round one. Though. Now, the only difference is, is this guy right here, Scump. So he's decided to go on the flank. They didn't do that. They actually pushed someone through the middle building last time. So Optic, again, that nade set up. They are able to get Faceno off the bomb. Scump is going to be able to see this. this is a huge one-on-one, -on -one, doing a great job just staying alive. Now his team is going to decide to push. That's exactly what he needs to do. Now, a three-on-one in that bomb site. Scump doing a beautiful time. Just keeping, I'm not sure exactly Aqua. who that is. That's Aqua. He's going to flank him as well. A beautiful round from Scum. Oh. Able to pick ah. up both of those players. That's exactly what you need to do. As soon as they know one of those players is watching the flank, they're able to enter that bomb site, and it's a 3v1 situation for the other Opti Gaming members. Now, if you're Echo Fox in that situation, and you know Scump is hitting that flank, you've already had that brief gun engagement, right? You didn't get the kill. Scump stays alive. Do you almost have to try and force that fight just to make yeah. sure the flank is, is, is clear? Yeah, you do. You absolutely have to. You have to win that sort of one-on-one -on -one engagement because as soon as you do, all focus on the bomb site right. then. So, again, just beautiful switching it up from Optic. Hey, Echo Fox said they got the maps that they wanted for well, Optic Gaming. Looking like they got the perfect map set right now. 3-0 up here on St. Marie on Optic Gaming. Of course, they're now going to be making that push over towards B. And I'm curious to see that mini-map. If Echo Fox at all, yep. and anyone to A, I mean, there you go. You, just like you called, Merc. Uh, you have to respect that push. And interestingly enough, look at number eight, Prim6. Uh, just lingering a little bit around there to see if anyone from Echo Fox does want to go for that push to the flank. Bomb goes down, though, and notice formal. Ten points away from streaks. The assist will do it, but Facento finds the pick instead. Yeah, beautiful shots from Facento. Saints still on the flank, but again, those nades from Optic have been so clutch. We'll see, this round is all on Saints for me. Uh, Echo Fox, they just need to wait right now. But this could be a, a huge moment. Karma decides to go on a bit of a late flake. Now, what, a two-on-one. Karma, left alone. We'll see how he's able to play this. Now, Echo Fox finally able to spot him. A great job from Echo Fox. And that's the sort of risk that you take when you decide to take that late flank because there's so many positions in the bomb site. He just right. gets on that radio tower. A very hard gunfight for Karma. It looks momentarily as if he may have got a little bit uh, beneficial timing there if the player on tower hadn't seen him. But uh, unluckily enough for Karma, he had. Echo Fox will win their first round here on St. Marie du Mont. You can see immediately just talking strats. What do they want to do in this next round? As I said, they get their first round on the door here, but now they're back on the attacking side. Uh, and Facento, interesting, going to pull out that car. Yeah, and Echo Fox looks like they're going to decide to switch it up. That, that strategy from Optic has just been so strong. And you can see, again, a switch up. All four of members of Optic just hunting B. Now, Echo Fox, they have to decide to do something quickly, or Optic knows what they're going to be able to do. We'll see what happens here. Facento just trying to work a pick with that sniper rifle. It's all good and well trying to play around a pick. But if the right. pick never comes, well, you're left in a little bit of a pickle. Yeah, because this is the issue now. Now Optic knows they're not B. They have somebody in B on that statue, which is just so powerful. The rest of Optic, they can just sort of transition into middle and that A site. You really are heavily relying on Facento finding something. Honestly, anything will do at this point with that sniper rifle. Krim is on statue. Can he slowly but surely find the pick? Facento just shoulder peeking. There will be Krim, and that's the pick they need. Now you have to fly the B site. You really don't have uh, much time to waste, but in comes the streak from Formal. The glide bomb's going to spot Aqua. That's going to find one. Actually finds two. Facento goes down as well. What looked like it could have been a good round for Echo Fox seems to be crumbling. We'll see. Number one on your minimap. You can see Saints just trying to find this pick. He knows there's somebody at A. There's still plenty of time for Echo Fox to be able to move towards this A site, and here you go. 18 seconds left now on the clock. Somebody's top middle scump. He has a PPSH, but that's not the weapon you want in this position. Assault is going to try and get to that bomb. If that's an AR, that might be a little bit of a different story. The bomb will go down, but look at number five, Karma. He's going to be the one making that play. Is the bomb going to go down? It does. Just goes down. Now a one on two for Saints. Now Saints finds a pick on scump as well mid map. You've got a one versus one situation. Karma versus Saints. 35 seconds on the bomb. What is Saints going to do? That is going to be the question. Time is, of course, ticking. 30 seconds left. Saints makes way to the bomb, finds the pick as well. One second, Ben, makes Ooh. all the difference. Assault able to get that bomb now. Now two rounds in a row for Echo Fox making that comeback. Yeah, Saints just recognized. Hold on a minute. Karma isn't where he was. Where else could he be? Well, he's probably on the bomb there. <laughs> Nicely played. Nicely played, as you said. Echo Fox, two rounds back to back. Saints with a, a big one versus two there, keeping Echo Fox uh, at least uh, close here in St. Marie du Mont. Search and destroy. Curious to see uh, what strat we get this round. Now. Yeah, I'm we've had, loving we've had it, a mix. Man. Right? I'm had, loving it. All these guys are just switching up, and it looks like Optic and Saints now has streaks working on that mortar strike as well. And Optic leaning towards a middle map push and a just a very slow round start. A big gunfight going down middle, formal able to pick up that first blood and assault. Now the rest of Optic starting to move towards this A-bomb site, but they don't expect Saints to be there. A great job by him. And again, he's the, from that first round, he started to play 
this A bomb site. So they might not have known that he was going to be there, but formal trades that kill out now a three round two for Optic Gamer. Now, this round probably isn't going to be won by Echo Fox, but on the plus side here, they did get full streaks on Saints. I, I, I think that's, you know, it, it's a fair trade considering, of course, Formal at one time had streaks as well. All he has left is the fighter pilot. He will find the pick, uh, and that round rightfully so does go to Optic Gamer. That all he has left is the fighter pilot. Yeah, oh, okay. Fighter pilot could secure you around, so we'll see what Formal decides to do with it. But again, now, the thing for Echo Fox is they know that Optic's two rounds away, so Saints is going to have to invest in those streaks very early on. Right. on. So expect it, if not this round, the round after. We'll see how they play. And to that point, I'd be very surprised if you didn't see maybe a, a couple of more mountain classes come out from Optic Gaming, right? Because for them, it, it's kind of a mind game. Yes, you do have a cushion, but if you can force Saints to waste yeah. a couple of streaks, I mean, that's going to be glorious. And there, as you kind of flick through, you can see a, a fair amount of mountain on Optic Gaming. Meanwhile, for Center, once again, Trying to play around the sniper rifle. Obviously, he had some success, but missed the exact same shot a few rounds prior. It was really just came down to that shot on Krim. And, and, and for me, this is Echo Fox really relying on the sniper rifle a little too much. Just think about how this game has changed just from a few different strategies from Optic. I mean, you obviously have that round one where Echo Fox just runs into that B bomb site. Right. But those nade setups by Optic, they can't do that anymore. So, Faceno trying to work a B pick because he was able to get that pick on Krim 6, just the last offensive round, and only 45 seconds left for them. Um, and what's interesting this time, Krim has just completely given that up. There's yeah. actually no one there, B site wide open. If Echo Fox wanted to push in, they could have done it a while ago, but now you have a 2-2 split on the map. You have two players of Echo Fox over over A, two at B. Bomb is going down, and for Sento, it looks like he's just gonna play his life. The bomb has to be funny for him, but here comes the first streak. Formal shuts down Aqua. Now surely Saints has to reply with streaks of his own. He does, yep, and there's the mortar strike right on all over that B site. He's just gonna need a hit marker. That's a Perfect. big three on three. And that's exactly what you want if you're Echo Fox. You respond with a streak of your own. Now a 3v3 with that bomb down. Optic obviously has to respond very quickly. And actually another one from Echo Fox is gonna be invested. Just trying to secure this round win, but there's still enough time for Optin to clutch this round out. I'm gonna be honest, look, look at where Facenta is playing on the map, right? He has perfect line Ooh. of sight of the bomb. He's already shut down one. Uh, for me, they knew there was no one on the defuse there. I feel like maybe yeah. they could have played that glide bomb a little bit differently. I'm not saying don't invest it. I feel like you need to win that round 100%. That's a must win round. But when Facenta's staring at the bomb, uh, you do have a little bit extra time to play, especially considering Facenta was playing so far back on the map playing his, oh, sorry, I say he's playing so far back on the map playing his life. Yeah, maybe if Facenta goes down there, you invest in that glide bomb. We'll see. I mean, it's just a glide bomb. He still has the fighter pilot. True. Formal, Formal doesn't have his. Formal doesn't have his, so. We'll see again. Opti Gaming oh, has been is, is so game, good on their offensive, just switching it up. Echo Fox not knowing what to do. And it looks like Optic going to lean towards the going towards this B site. Now, of course, uh, you may have a couple of gunfights coming very quickly. Formal actually spots not just one, but two players bottom middle. Now, what is that going to mean? Of course, Optic Gaming already pushing straight up mid map. There goes the bomb down at B. Assault being a little bit of a pickle here. Formal lands some shots. But oh, once again, you have to feel bomb goes down, uh, and time is against Echo Fox already. They don't really have anyone challenging in a favorable position. Yeah, and I don't like that streak at all. Scum's able to get in the top mid. Karma also bottom mid. Now a 3v3, 25 seconds left. This is such a tough spot, but Scum did get caught out. We'll see what Echo Fox is able to Ooh. do. Saints picks up too. They also had a Please smoke. They had a smoke as well. We weren't Love able to it. see do that. Oh my gosh. What this a round. is such a good game. These guys are just playing mind games back and forth with one another. I love it. Of course, uh, to your point, the fighter pilot was used. Really, not, not the best use. Yes, maybe you get a little bit of information, but Ooh. at the end of the day, Saints up top. Manages to find the first kill, and then also gets the second kill. Completely opens up that, that, that portion of the map. Really, that round was on him. And now we're all square. 4-4 four, four Saints again working on more streaks. I'm, I'm kind of surprised they didn't give him bomb here. Yeah, and I mean, this is just Saints versus Formal right now. I mean, <laughs> That's basically, Saints 11-4, yeah. <laughs> Formal 11-3. Echo Fox able to get that bomb now. We'll see how Optic's able to respond. No nades coming in. They're just going to be too late. Echo Fox just decides, we're going to leave this site. Mind game there again. comes That's in that smoke round. grenade from Optic Gaming that allows them to get to that statue, and we'll see how Echo Fox is able to play this. They have all the sight they need for that bomb. And again, I love that adjustment for the very first round, but that can't happen. Krim shuts down for Sento, and now Optic Gaming just flood straight in towards the bomb site. Can somehow Echo Fox get the information they so desperately need? Scump will go down here with the player defusing, flies in, and Optic Gaming fall. And once again, to your point, Joe, the mind game's coming through. Echo Fox realized, hey, we rush B, we know the smoke's gonna come, right. we know the nades are gonna come, so let's just get the hell out of the site. I love it. This is the best game of Surgeon Shoy we've seen all year long. Agreed. This is a, a fantastic one. The only thing I will say is I would 
would love to have seen Saints plant that bomb. And of course, those extra points. Yes, it's risky because you know the nades are going to come through. But if you just, you know, adjust a little bit, maybe put on an armored class, he gets those extra points. It could be the difference because how close is Saints? That to me is the question here. That is what this could come down to. 550. Top bomb plant. Streaks. Plants would have given them streaks. Um, we'll see. Optic Gaming on the offensive. Looks like they're trying to take mid map. Those smokes from Karma. We saw he's been using them as much as possible, trying to get in the mind of Echo Fox, but Echo Fox responding greatly, now having a 5 4 lead after an early 3 0 from Optic. You have to feel like this has round 11 written all over it. I'm okay with that. I'm, you know, I'm perfectly okay with that too. <laughs> Scump, of course, does have bomb in hand. Echo Fox just taking slow. Of course, you, you can see Aqua respecting the A push that came prior in the game. And he's going to be on that side of the map. Meanwhile, three teammates, they still have their nades. That's the question. Saints has to stay alive. Again, streaks for Saints here are such a priority for Echo Fox. We've seen the damage they can do so far. Onto game for still lingering around that B side. Facento finds one. Aqua finds the second. Now, Karma and Scum left in two versus four. So, Krim actually loses that fight to Facendo when Facendo was under position. And then on the other side, Formal tries to do a late flank. But Aqua is able to control it. Seno having such a good round. Saints still trying to find one more kill, but this will be the game now. Karma no left in no a one on three with 18 seconds left. This should do it. What a response from wow. Box. Absolutely a wonderful game of Search and Troy. That was a pleasure, pleasure to watch. Of course, it started off so well for Optic. Seno and Saints can get some fly caps. And on the other side, Crim6 Formal. They're going to be opening the lanes up for Scump. Yep. And Karma. Series tied, one map apiece. CTF Arden Forest underway. Optic Gaming versus Echo Fox. Of course, this a winner's bracket round one matchup. And already the crowd once again in respawn, trying to get behind Optic Gaming, trying to give them a little bit of extra energy. But it's Facento that opens up early with a double. Saints as well with one. And now Karma left to watch that overextend. You know Saints is going to be there, and that's not. And look at the mini map already, Ben. Oh, Facento just pushed through that ice elbow. Spawns Optic all the way out. This is exactly what you need. This is a big one-on-one. -on -one. Aqua wins it. Like flag cap for Echo Fox. What a, I mean, what a flag route from Faseno. Picks up those two kills. Just immediately goes for that flag. Now, importantly, note, to your point, two kills, flag cap. 450 score already. So he is definitely going to be a menace. And what's scary to me here is Ooh. no one in Optic Gaming with a minute gone has a kill. They need to maybe just slow down the tempo, absorb a little bit of pressure, play for those kills, set themselves up. Uh, to just at least stop this Echo Fox aggression. And to a lot of these teams, this is the, you know, the more preferred side for Optic Gaming. You want right. to attack that bunker because you can play so defensive as they are. Assault picking up Formal. Saints already picking up another one on Scum. This is exactly what you want for your Echo Fox. Start going in as soon as you get a couple kills. That's it. Now look at that minimap. Again, all about the gaming. They're going to spawn towards that cabin side. Six already up. Five, another spawn. Scum, this is all on him. He has to get to bunker. Now, we'll see, Faceno throwing that stun, he knows it's the biggest one-on-one, -on -one, but Saints is already behind him. What a win for Faceno, 2-0 Echo Fox. Yeah, Faceno didn't get his streaks, but Assault, he will get something for his efforts. In fact, he's going to get two. Fighter Pilot and Glide Bomb now under his control. Saints was actually just on a five streak before Formal finally shut him down. I don't think he got anything there uh, to use, but I mean, this is just Echo Fox slaying up the gaming, up the gaming with two minutes gone, have three kills. I mean, I, I don't know what happened <laughs> during that break, but Aquafoss just got fired up. That search and destroyer obviously was so clutch for them, gave them that momentum. Obviously, maybe in game one, they weren't as warmed up as they wanted to be. Already streaks called in from Echo Fox. A bit of a waste here as Optic was able to stop the offensive push, but a 2-0 lead so far. I mean, the pace set by Echo Fox. Yeah, it definitely is. They were able to get three down. They're going to wrap back to their flag, make sure no one is overextended from Optic Gaming. Playing the, the, the correct uh, way there, if you're Echo Fox as well, you have to consider that you have Aqua in such an advanced position, staring at the Optic Gaming flag. What is Skump going to be able to do, though? It seems like the aggression could come in. Counter here. Two players going out for Echo Fox. Smoke grenade goes down. Karma's going to say thank you very much for the team kill. Uh -oh. Comes through. Skump tried to snap on Assault. That's not gone well. But Formal does get a big defense. Yeah, that was a huge kill. Crimson is able to pick up this one. So this could be it for Opti. But Saints able to pick up Formal. Now, can Crimson get out? He's a little bit slow. Has Mountain scoped on. Does pick up that kill. He's going to take it towards middle, towards his team. He actually decides to run through Bunker, but this should be a fly cap. Never mind, here comes the glide bomb. Yeah, Krim was expecting the streaks to come through, and rightfully so. Manages to just keep himself in a position to stay alive, but there could be even more streaks, and there it is. Can Krim get through? No, he can't. Assault puts the artillery down. Krim will fall. Saint shuts down Scump. Formal left. 
right at the back of the map, trying to just see if he can get any information whatsoever. Wants to make sure that no one from Echo Fox pulls the flag. Needs to be careful though, because Aqua is going to go straight behind. Aqua shuts down Krim, and Echo Fox will survive. Formal last man alive. He's going to go down. Skump falls instantly off spawn. And number seven, Karma, the only man alive for Optic Gaming is scurrying. Yeah, that was very smart. Echo Fox knew they were going to spawn Optic Ruin, so Karma, the only one here. Let's see if he's able to make a play. Very sneaky. He was able to get that spawn. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nearly a three for Karma. Was only able to find two. And now you have Saints weak on flag. Knows that one play from up the game will overextend for Oh, but that spawn for Aqua. This should be able to allow them to lock it up and get this third flag cap. Saints takes down Skump. Formal, the last one left. And the flag was actually returned by Formal. So a great play by him. Still, though, a 2-0 lead for Echo Fox. And you have to bear in mind, the two players from Optic Gaming that were far pushed in Echo Fox's base both had Mountain on, so those streaks uh, really had no effect. They, they got the call out because Formal picked up a kill, but the Glide Bomb hit a tree. So ultimately, Formal gets the return. If that Glide Bomb connects, that would be a 3-0 game to Echo Fox. And if you didn't know, trees counter bombs. Yes, yes, they do, Joe. Yes, they do. Uh, the Glide Bomb, you have to try and place to the left or right of a tree. But still, Echo Fox in the first half have been fantastic. 30 seconds left. They have a 2-0 lead. I mean, you look at the stat line, you've got the center of 9 and 6, Saints 10 and 6, Assault 9 and 4, Aqua 10 and 4. I I'm curious to see how many streaks Echo Fox actually still have. You see Saints, uh, zero streaks left for him at his disposal. Doesn't seem like Aqua has any assault. I don't think they have any left. Center. Oh, actually, the center does have one more fighter pilot. But the big thing was they invested three of them to get that flag stop. Yep. It could have turned into a counter cap, but still, a 2-0 lead at the half. You go into the preferred side. That's the key to me. Yep. That's the key. You mentioned it earlier on Optic Gaming, playing on you know what many consider to be the preferred side. They're down two now. You do have a fighter pilot, which we know how dominant that can be. I mean, this is Echo Fox's game throw away. Yeah, absolutely. But it's Optic Gaming we're talking about. That's true. They've done That's crazier true. things before. Sometimes teams, they, they play a little bit too defensive. Don't yeah. allow Optic Gaming to get that mid-map control to get into your ruins. Players like Karma and Skump, they can pester you all half long. True. Push up a little bit if you're Echo Fox. Put the pressure on Optic. Definitely don't want to just sit and turtle in your base. That's when all of a sudden things go from good to very, very bad. Very, very quickly. As we'll kick off this round on board with Saints. Already trying to put pressure mid-map. Skump, formal. And look at three uh, players. Ah, Skump just running push. right, or, or three players from Optic running right up the middle. And this is exactly what you want if you're an Optic fan. Just three dead right away. They know there's one player left. Here comes in that street, though. We'll see if they're able to slow him down. Bear in mind, they actually got the pick on Pacento, and the fighter pilot gets absolutely nothing for its efforts. The one thing it did do, though, is slow down the push, but never this mind. Scary. Formal with a double assault finally shuts him down. That's a flag. I, I mean, what a strat from Optic. Just three right down the middle. Echo Fox didn't expect that, you know? And again, Karma, very close to streaks now. Right. See how he's able to work that. So we'll see what happens now as we still have four minutes left in this half. Yeah, Karma, nicely played from him. Close to streaks for now. Want to send it over to an Astro Gaming listening with Optic Gaming. You want to switch with me? No, Guys, no, they're no, just no, waiting. I can't cross. Okay, I can't okay. cross. Literally just waiting. All right, well, I'm going to give up ice for a sec. Try to get a pick right here. Colonel here. One, Matt. I think he's close. That's me. That's me. That's me. Okay. I think. Seth, you want? You might. Want, oh fuck! You got me. Don't be. Don't be. Don't be. Uh, where's that? Where's it? Where's that? I'm there, Heady. Hold on, Heady. Bridge, Heady. Bridge, Heady. He's pushing up. Close fire. Assault's so pushing middle. He's gonna be army. I'm weak. I'm weak. You guys are good. Oh, he pushed me. No, he's out of tank. Fire tank. He's going fire I cut. I needed it. I want your fire cut. I want your fire cut. What's Captain Heady? Two fire cut. Two fire cut. Both weak. Team kill. Team kill. Team kill. Captain Heady. Captain Heady. First, first, first. First Heady. Fire, fire, fire. First Heady and fire. Last two. Go ahead. Go ahead. Fire. I'm looking at fire. What's first Heady for sure, guys? Come circle on me. I'm going for the fire guy. Top circle. Top circle. Dave. Intercept himself. Weak, weak circle. I don't, I don't know what cabinet he wants to he's, he's in first, Ian. Yeah, he's still there. Watch out, watch out, mine first. Over. Stay alive, stay alive. I'm looking inside first. I didn't stun anything. They needed me fire tank. He's still there. Oh, he's uh, mid circle. Cut, fire tank right now. Kevin cut hurt also. Yuli's just Yuli's they're, gonna fire push, tank. they're gonna push me, Matt. Yeah, one's gonna push me first right now. Yuli's probably pushing you fire. First, first. Flag, flag, bell, flag, bell. Oh, first. Come back, come back, come back. Come back, Damon. Go back, Damon. Kevin cut, Kevin cut. They're all by flag. Oh, fuck, he got away. Yeah, he's out, he's out. Where's the closest guy? Fire cut. Fire cut, yeah. Circle, circle, we we spawn behind flag. We spawn behind flag. Can you stun him? Can you stun him or no? No, I don't have a stun. He's going circle. Sure. Yeah, he's going on. He's sitting in the pit. In the pit right now, Seth. All right, they got that. They got that. Okay, nice. Yeah, bro. Try to just counter cap. Broken, broken. The team kill. Team kill. Team kill. Yeah, team kill. Team kill. I'm yeah, going ice. Push an ice. I'm here with you, Seth. Push an ice. Seth, I'm going to smoke it. One's dead. One's dead. Looking back. He's pushing back front. He's pushing their tank. One's back flag right now. Two other tank. One's back flag. Aqua. One other tank. One's on the right. Aqua's back left. He's going ice. He's going to go ice on you, dude. Careful. Okay. <coughs> We're good, yeah. Nice, two two ice, two ice, one more. Two oh, cabins, two cabins, two. Both there? Dude, OE broke the guys. OE, start a wing, start a wing. I'm going to start piecing them cabin side. 
I don't see anyone, Seth. Fire dead, fire dead. Nice, 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 I'm pushing through. Might be in first. I didn't saw him playing on first. I'm with you guys. You two might want to wait. What's first, first, first. First week. He's back bridge, back bridge. First really He's back left. Seth, go broken. He challenged me first. I naded. First, first up. Nice, good job. Hold on. Ultimate gaming communicating very, very well here in the second half. And something interesting to note, you heard Karma call it out immediately. Fomo says, hey, they team killed. This could be a chance. Karma says, no, they just team killed first streaks. Very, very smart, smart plays coming in from Echo Fox, recognizing, hey, you know, if you cap this fight, you get streaks. So Echo Fox do have that at their disposal. But Optic Gaming starting to turn up a little bit here, bro. Yeah, it's just a minute 40 left, and as we were just talking about, Echo Fox do have a lot of streaks. I mean, just look at that scoreboard. Obviously, Assault double positive, Aqua double positive, everyone positive on the Echo Fox side. Just right from the beginning, they set the pace. Finally, a bit of an attack from Formal, but Saint shuts it down. And then watch that minimap. All of Echo Fox is spawned right on that flag. This is why this side is so difficult. The, the one scary thing is, though, Echo Fox realistically not much map control. They're they're spawning in and they're just kind of defensively staying. And they get a little lucky there. Saints obviously wins that one v one. If he loses that, it's a different story. Optic Gaming would get that flag out, and the kills consistently being traded. Now you have number one. That's going to be Facento. He can now just be a nuisance over towards Ruin side if he wants. He's going to stop anyone pushing through mid map. And with 58 seconds left, you've got streaks as well. Surely Echo Fox, you don't throw this game away. Yeah, the only play is number seven. I believe that's Karma sneaking to the base, but all of Echo Fox are pushed up. They decide we're going to use some streaks here. And they see able him. To see him, the but tree again. The tree again. The tree hard counters the glide bomb. Now Echo Fox decided to back up. That's number three assault, but Karma going to try and drink this kill. It's a big one-on-one. -on -one. Aqua wins it, shuts down that pull. And again, Echo Fox is doing everything they need to stop the offensive from Optic. I could just see it now if Optic Gaming was to come back into this one. Hashtag Optic Tree trending wide <laughs> on Twitter. Of course, they've had some favors from Vans in the past, but the trees, of course, uh, doesn't seem like that's going to be enough. Three to one, the final score for Santo finds one. 16 seconds left. Optic Gaming, unless they get an absolute perfect relay, which forces an overtime. It doesn't look like this is going to be possible. I, I would love to know the last time all four players on Optic Gaming, we're negative in a respawn. JP, you back there, you hear me? I'd love to know. <laughs> I don't that. think there was uh, history books back then, Joe, to be honest with you. Yeah. All four players in a respawn going negative for Optic Gaming. Definitely yeah. still uh, in the tournament, but they will fall down into that loser's bracket. Not a place many people would have predicted, but Game 4 now underway. Yeah, as you said, I mean, that loser's bracket is a very long day, especially Ooh. on a Sunday, so. Very long. Only top 12 right now. Let's go. Besides, we go top middle. Formal already off to a good start. And we shall see if Scum and the green wall are able to step it up and take this to a game five already. Playing so, so well. Oh. They have early control, and here okay. we go. Well, Scum's kind of in that no nonsense mood already. He found himself a double. Uh, managed to get some hill time there, but it is going to be Krim that jumps straight in. The trade's coming through. Optic Gaming getting all the kills. 30 seconds left on the hill, though. This is where you want to see Optic Gaming potentially push through, trying to control the spawn, because very similar to map number one, if you remember, it was Optic Gaming that got the hill time, but Echo Fox held the spawns for that second hill. Yeah, and that's a great response from Echo Fox. They get a four dead from Optic, and you can already see Scump, Formal, deciding to push towards this radio tower, try to work on spawns for next, but Saint's already watching it, and this is a great response from Echo Fox. The map's gonna be about tied up, but Echo Fox have full control for this winery hill. Yeah, Karma does shut down Aqua, but Aqua really not gonna be too fussed because he is gonna get a good spawn over towards that next hill. He looks like he's just watching Grandma's. The overhead view shows you Saints. It's gonna have a, a little bit of a gunfight very soon. Of course, those two players that rotated for up the gaming through towards Radio Tower. Saints should be able to find both those. There's one, that's formal. There's Skump. Saints does a phenomenal job, but there's still one player from up the gaming being a nuisance. It is gonna be Krim. Krim now one shot. Saints desperately wants to hunt him down. Still 10 shots left, but the bayonet comes through from Krim. Saints, take a seat, my son. Yeah, and that's a huge play, because look, look at that minimap. Krim6 winning that one-on-one, -on -one. another gunfight, gets Optic the, the favorable spawns. What a play from Krim. One one-on-one -on -one changes the tide for Optic Gaming. Now all of Echo Fox starting to spawn out. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful play. And Echo Fox instantly, I mean, you can see where they're spawning on the minimap if you're listening by radio commentary. Well, I can tell you it's not that close. Uh, they're going to have to now set up on that next hill up to game will get that scrap time but again still a, a rather close game for me the importance here is karma 525 points out of 625 towards the fighter pilot just 100 more points and he's going to start getting close to those streaks currently on a four streak Krim also note on a three streak of his own he's at 485 out of 625 so these two players massive for up to gaming to get those streak that's your teammate Krim calm down okay calm down that would have been terrible right there yeah and Echo Fox just have a perfect setup I mean Already gaining about 15 points. They rotated early, but Optic 
doing a, a two-man push in the back, trying to work middle map as well. So we'll see if Equifox Optic obviously knows where they all are, but three dead for, for Optic Gaming. This is obviously for Swarm on a very tough spot. All of Optic spawn out. And both of the players for Optic Gaming there are on streaks, both full. And what yep. was interesting is Krim was the first one to go around that corner. You almost want Formal to bait a little bit there for Krim. Yeah. He does get that one kill, he gets the fighter pilot. Yeah, absolutely. And we talked about how vital those can be, but they just honestly took too much time. Yeah. Trying to work those streaks, that's sort of the bad thing about it. I mean, yeah. streaks are great, but... You like points. Points help you win. <laughs> points win your games, that's for sure. Without the points, you're definitely not winning a thing. But speaking of points, Echo Fox now. 86 points to 54 of up to gaming. Again, the, the final few moments on that hill before we get to the, the last hill of the first rotation. And it's a bit of a scurry there for Echo Fox. Up to gaming did have time, of course, to set up nicely. Scump, one shot needs to be careful as he somehow finds the pick there on Saints with help of a nade. Formal shuts down one. So does Karma. So up to gaming early on on this hill, at least, Joe, getting a lot of points back. Yeah, this is the first rotation they've actually had early on. I mean, you saw on Winery in the last hill that we were just yeah. at, all Echo Fox finally opted gaming, rotate early. They get a nice setup going. We'll see how Echo Fox are able to respond. But Optic about to tie the game and great kills from Aqua Saints and, you know, Facetta. I mean, they're just doing such a great job, but Optic oh. trying to respond. Just as you say, how's Echo Fox gonna respond? They jump in the hill, they yeah. find three. Lately, Krim all by himself, but Krim manages to just delay the push from Echo Fox. He gets a double, and with 16 seconds left on the final hill, the first rotation scores on the doors. 91 to Echo Fox, 86 to Optic Gaming. Still the fight for scrap time. I think Echo Fox may just leave it. Of course, you do have Saints up top middle, but Krim actually guns him. So Percento now left in a one versus two. He's gonna fall, and Optic Gaming through brute force now have control of the next hill. Yeah, and we were talking about that scrap time fight that Karma won. Honestly, do you even want to push that last 10 seconds? Yeah. But Krim Sish and Scump win some gunfights. But again, every time it seems that Optic gets into a little bit of control, Echo Fox responds. Yeah, just like that, Scump, 11 bullets. I don't even want to take his time to reload this. Let's have to just back up the stairs. Just kind of waiting for a teammate to maybe cause a distraction, but Saints read it like a book. Now can he find the pick on Formal? No, he can't. Formal double kill. Formal looking for more. Not gonna happen. Saints now goes for the flank, shuts him down, and the trades continue to come through. And nicely red on the spawns from Facento. Gets the call up from his teammates. Hey, we got good spawns. Facento immediately knows to turn around and look how close to those streaks he is as well. Yeah, I mean, and we've seen it time and time again. Not necessarily the first time we're at this hill, but the second time you can see teams pick up more and more time. And look, look at those spawns, look at that minimap. I would love to see Facento try and juggle the hill here. Something we haven't really seen too much in World War II. It's pretty tough to do in this game, that's for sure. But this could be the tough spot. opportunity moment. Five seconds. Play your life! But unfortunately, someone comes up top. No streaks whatsoever for Ecrafog. Yeah, if you look at that minimap, Faceno, not only does he die there, he actually spawns out as well. So Optic pushing towards this back dirt street. If they get these kills here, all of Echo Fox will spawn out. But Echo Fox doing a great job. Aqua just trying to waste time. Saints in this hill now. And you can oh. see. Wow. Optic also starting to spawn out. So great response from Optic, but there's one more player, Scump, all the way in the back. And that identical fight happened in the first rotation, if you remember, Mook. It was Saints that shut down Formal and Scump. Now it's Aqua that gets a big three kills, holds the spawns for Echo Fox. Of course, Krim was able to break it in that first rotation, but Krim, of course, he, he spawned out now, so Echo Fox should pick up a big chunk of this time. I mean, if, if you're Optic, you just go back and look at these early hills. Yeah. They're just not winning rotations. Plain and simple, they're not rotating early enough. And this allows, you know, Echo Fox to have this big of a lead. Luckily enough, though, for Optic Gaming, no one from Echo Fox does have streaks. Assault is very, very close, however. 200 points away. Make that 100 points as he finds that pick. Now can he go for the trade? Flies it! Formal gets the kill. That's a fighter pilot. Just 25 more for the dive bomb. Somehow still away as he absorbs the nade. Of course, Optic Gaming do have hill control, and this is the perfect time to use it. Use the fighter pilot. Get your extra streaks. Yeah, he's just waiting a few seconds so his teammates can push up if you look at that mini-map. All Echo Fox can push that hill. All of Optic Gaming stuck in this grandma's house right here. We'll see if Echo Fox can get those kills. Already starting their assault. Let's see if Optic can respond, but Echo Fox already spawning Optic Gaming out towards that radio tower. Well, of course, the streaks were earned. No artillery, though, so just a glide bomb left for Echo Fox, but the score is really starting to mount up. 178 to 110. Optic Gaming fly through. 25 seconds left on the hill. They look potentially good to, poten uh, to, to grab this time, but Echo Fox, again, they can afford to go for one more push if they want. Yeah, and you can see Saints Faceno drop. The other four just decide to... Go towards that next yeah. hill. That's all they need to do. Hill number four. We'll see if they get that early setup. All of Optic spawning back here, back by this parking lot. And we'll see if Echo Fox can hold strong here. Now a 40-second lead for them. But those are two big kills as you look at that mini-map. Two of Echo Fox members spawning very far away. 
great kills from Krim6. This wouldn't be a ridiculously big comeback, but it would be a comeback, that's for sure. 135 up to gaming score. Echo Fox on the hill, 184. No assault, 22 and 11. What a performance from him. Shrieks also used there. There's no avail, and Skump throws an aid at Saints, he falls, and this is a hard point that Optic Gaming do tend to have a lot of success on. Yeah, absolutely, but Assault again, picking up two for Seno, having to take him down. <laughs> Always sucks when your teammate has to take you down, but it is what it is, and again, Echo Fox responding for Seno and Aqua, and right now, this is all you want to do if you're Echo Fox, just keep yep. trading and contesting this hill. Well, that's all you need to do, just keep splitting that time, and you will eventually win the game, force Optic Gaming to have a fantastic hold. I think, honestly, it may all come down to the second hill once again when we get to that rotation 13 seconds left optic gaming should be good to get it now it all comes down to optic splitting the time here on this first hill of the third rotation the score as we rotate 192 to what should settle at around about 159 i believe there's no streaks for for really anyone and that's what you want if you're optic gaming they get the kills in rotation they have the early time here on the first hill yeah and this is exactly where you want to be if you're crim six top of this middle building you know where they're spawning look at karma already thinking about that next yep. hill as you talked about it a great play for him, but Echo Fox expected it. And they still need to make sure that that's what they do. Players have to push through that right-hand side, that tower side, and get control of the next one, because that is really where this game is going to be won or lost. Up to gaming have done a great job to chip away the lead. 193 to 180, but Echo Fox still barraging in towards the hill. Saints with the trade. Skump's going to go flying into the hill, though. He knows there's going to be a couple of plays from Echo Fox. There's still, though, no, with 24 seconds left, Merc, it's still Echo Fox that have the spawns for second hill. Yeah, and you saw Krim6 was able to pick up that fighter pilot, so that could be very important. Maybe not on this next one, but this is the fight after that. But this is a huge fight right here. Echo Fox still spawning at the hill, but what a play from Aqua thinking about those spawns. Now, no, Krim does have a fighter pilot. Calm also working towards streaks. This is where the game may actually just completely slow down. If you're up to gaming, that's all. Oh, that's just a monumental win right there. That's going to put him even closer towards those streaks. Now, if you're up to gaming, you want to slow push, and then this is where you may actually have to invest that streak. Yeah, right? you will right away. He's actually going to use it. Krim6 able to pick up one. But that's it, and Aqua trades that kill. We'll see what Opti's able to do with that push. But Aqua again picks up on a three streak right now. What a play! And look where Optic's spawning at that radio tower. You do not want to spawn there whatsoever. This could be it for Echo Fox. Uh, yeah, they have potentially a, a good split or a, a good pinch if you're up to gaming, but they need the kills, and the kills just have not come. Aqua on the flank finds one. Comma, last man alive. 222 to 194. Echo Fox. This is going to be an unbelievably close ending to this game. I believe they cannot win on this hill, but all they will need is two seconds if Optic Gaming are not able to contest. Krim shuts down Assault. In goes Optic Gaming one more time. Aqua is going to pick up a fighter pilot as well. Saints now looking for trades. He's going to fall. Optic Gaming get control. Now look at the race on the minimap towards the next hill with five seconds left till it pops. Bear in mind, though, Echo Fox with streaks. Yeah, and you can see number two Krim spawns all the way out. That's such a, a far spawn for him. Echo Fox have control. Here comes that fighter pilot in from Aqua. This is so important. Only nine more seconds for Echo Fox. Optic have to attack now. Finally, oh, no, dead. Echo Fox is spawning out as well. Two players way, way away. Saints on the hill. Can he go big? No. Karma shuts him down. And Optic Gaming break. Once again, they cannot win on this hill. They will need to rotate as well. But 36 seconds, they need every single second of it. All Echo Fox need now is four seconds. Yeah, and if you're Echo Fox, don't feed streaks. Scum getting a little bit very close to it. About halfway there. If you're Echo Fox, have a smart push. If you don't win it, Rotate. Rotate. So right here, Saints <laughs> and Aqua. Let's see what they do. Already starting to head over towards that fourth hill. Vicenna all the way in the back. Didn't expect Crim6 to spawn there. And here we go. These are going to be the key fights. This is it. This is basically going to be the game. You've got nine seconds left on the hill. Up to gaming. Get that. They've reduced the deficit wonderfully. It's a 246 to what should be around about a 240 game. And in fact, Optic say, no, screw this. Rotate. No one's going to get the scrap time. Optic winning the gunfights as well. Scum in that ball. That's Saints, get in. That's get in, Ben. It's for Sento. And for Sento flies into the hill. He gets the scrap.